Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to bring up a drop down menu or create a drop down menu within your tabs within your horizontal navigation bar here. Now in order to do that we want to make sure that your horizontal navigation bar is actually enabled. So in order to do that we're going to uh, go to the top here and click on more and then we're going to click on Edit Site Layout. Now, Edit Site Layout is going to give you a whole bunch of different options that come up right up here. Now, you can see I have different things enabled. I have a header enabled. I have my horizontal navigation enabled. You can tell that it's clicked because it's a darker gray. And my sidebar enabled. So let's say, for example, I wanted to get rid of my sidebar. I would click on Sidebar and uh, make that the lighter gray. And then it would disappear, right? kind of cleaning up the look of my website. But I do like my sidebar, so I'm going to keep mine enabled. Okay. Now, in order to add that drop-down menu, remember it has to be a page that's already created. So you can't uh, add a page unless you've already kind of created it within your website linked somewhere else. Okay, so um, I already have a few pages created, so I'm going to show you an example of how to create that drop-down menu. So um, I have American Lit as a tab already here. And once I click on my horizontal navigation bar, now you can tell... I'm in the edit site layout and when I put my mouse over you can see that it kind of turns a, a lighter blue color here. Okay, and Once I click on that it's going to give me the options and this is everything that is within my, um, my horizontal navigation bar. So in order to edit or change that or add to it or add a sub page, a drop down menu, uh, what I would want to do is I would want to add page. Now remember this is a page that's already created. So I'm going to look for my page that is Catcher in the Rye. I know that I have that page here, and I can uh, go ahead and take a look here. And let's say I have uh, Catcher in the Rye right here. So I'm going to click on this page, and I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click OK. Now what that's going to do, though, is that's going to add Catcher in the Rye all the way at the bottom here. right? Then it's going to become its own tab. But I want to make sure it becomes a drop-down menu under American Lit. So I'm going to have to use the arrow buttons right here to then move that up. So again, this is a Catcher in the Rye is a subunit of my American Literature class. And I'm going to keep going up, keep going up. And I'm going to put that directly under American Lit. You're going to see the way this works in just a second. So now that I have this, and I need to put it right underneath American Lit. Now you can see it's on the same level as, a, as American Lit. So if I hit OK now, it's just be, going to become its own tab. In order for it to be a drop-down menu underneath American Lit, I'm going to use these arrows right here. So once I click on this button and indent it, now it is indented under American Lit, and that will make it a subcategory or sub-tab of American Lit. So I click on OK. And now I've created that sub-page. But I won't be able to see it yet. Remember, i got to click Close up here in order to get that done. Once I have done that, if I put my mouse over American Lit, you can see I have a drop-down menu of Catcher in the Rye. So that is how you would create the drop-down or sub-pages or sub-units, however you want to call them, within your horizontal navigation bar.